What's up internet, it's Andrew here with Inside Studios and today I'm going to be showing you how to combine text in Illustrator to use in logos and stuff. Now it's a very short tutorial with a couple of steps that you'll find very easy. I've been using this for as far as I can remember and we'll start right now. So to start I have I've laid down some text here. I've used these lovely font Lucida handwriting and uh, I want to combine all these shapes together. Now you can see the end is combined with the, the D by itself and the R, uh, the E with the W and I want to combine everything together. Now the first thing I want to do is just I'm going to right click and then create outlines. Uh, you're always going to want to do this step to see outlines to create vector shapes instead of just uh, type and text. Now after this I'm going to go to my direct selection tool or A for sure and I'm going to click on um, first of all click away then click on the letter A for starters and I'm just going to bring that in to touch with the ends just like that um, just roughly like that and then I'm going to select E hold down shift and select W as well and bring those in so the R touches with the E like that now I'm happy with that see everything's uh, touching together everything's combined now after that what you want to do is uh, go back to your selection tool and just select everything together now you want to go if you don't have it you want to go up to windows uh, sorry window and uh, click on the pathfinder window right there and mine's right here now there's two ways of doing this you can either use the uh, unite button right there or the merge button now for me to show you I'll just go click everything and just say unite and it combines everything together anything that overlaps it will just make it into one shape as you can remember right there with the A uh, with the R right there it just makes it into one shape now it's the same story with I'll just control Z to go back it's the same story with the merge button it does the same exact thing like so and that's how you combine it now this is all vector information so you can scale it up and scale it down as much as you want it's still going to be one shape and you can use this in logos I've used it uh, for as long as I can remember as I mentioned before and uh, that's the tutorial I hope you liked it I hope it's very very easy and I'll see you next time